Well, today, a northern Indiana community will come together to remember three siblings who died this week while trying to get on their school bus. It's been such a tough week for friends and family of Mason, Xavier, and Olivia. As we've reported, those children were crossing a highway near Rochester Tuesday morning when they were hit. For those unfamiliar, this is about two hours north of Indianapolis and an hour west of Fort Wayne. And now people who knew those three children are trying to cope with this devastating loss. Our Alyssa Raymond joins us here in studio this morning with how the family is remembering them. Hey, Alyssa. Ben, Julia, good morning. Earlier this week, the whole family dressed up as Dr. Seuss characters for Halloween. Nine-year-old Olivia Stahl loved softball, and she loved her little brothers, Xavier and Mason Engel. The six-year-old twins loved monster trucks, and they loved playing in the woods. Their uncle says the last thing he told them was, I love you. Those two smiles can light up the world not just a room, the two boys' energy nonstop. She held those boys' hands every day to school, held those boys' hands onto the school bus, and she was holding their hands when they all went. She is the ideal big sister. Those smiles, the way they, they recharged my family. My family is a strong family, but we've been drifting apart, and all these New children and grandbabies coming in, and the twins, they rejuvenated us. They gave us all new life. Even more memories will be shared tonight at a candlelight vigil. This vigil is set for 7 o'clock at the Mentone Youth League. It's not too far from where all of the kids went to elementary school. This is near Tucker and Jefferson Streets. Of course, it's going to be another very, very difficult night. Just unimaginable what this family will deal with for forever. All right, Melissa, thank you. And this deadly crash is serving as an important reminder about Indiana's bus stop laws. So here's what you need to know. On a two-lane road, drivers in both directions must stop. When the bus pulls out its stop arm and turns on its lights, that also applies to two-lane roads with center turn lanes and four-lane roads without a median. Now, if the road has a barrier like a concrete or even grass median, only drivers heading in that same direction as the bus must stop. Traffic driving the other direction can keep going. 6.33.